A sensory friendly festival is a festival where we've specifically considered the needs of families with children on the autism spectrum or people on the autism spectrum. What we work to do is to modify certain aspects of the festival environment that we can have some control over. We're very aware that within a festival environment you're never going to be able to cater for the needs of everybody but if we can make some slight adjustments within the festival environment then Hopefully we can work to greater inclusion and allow more people to enjoy our festivals. The motivation behind creating sensory friendly initiatives is the fact that autism is the fastest growing disability diagnosis worldwide. Autism is also an invisible disability as such. So it's not overly obvious in terms of the fact that you've got lots of families in your community who are moving through this space. We're very aware that within a festival environment you're never going to be able to cater for the needs of everybody but if we can make some slight adjustments within the festival environment then hopefully we can work to greater inclusion and allow more people to enjoy our festivals. Things that we've done under a sensory friendly festival include having noise cancelling headphones available for hire we have a chill out tent or a time out sort of space designed just where people need to go and just take a breather and relax and reset. We also have some activities that are kind of more geared towards people on the spectrum. In saying that though, the first year that we did run the Sensory Friendly Festival, the activities that we were sort of talking about ended up filtering through the entire festival. So it's kind of a consideration when you're programming the festival as well. We've got other supporting resources through a sensory friendly festival such as a social story. We've also got sensory friendly mapping as well which consider our high, medium and low stimulation areas. We've changed that a little bit because the festival is evolving. So we've done different kind of keys around the types of activity that people can engage in such as a participation activity or a sit and listen or an interact. So we've put that key overlaid on the map and the activity. We're just trying to work towards greater inclusion for everybody in our community. We've done awareness raising for our volunteers. So every single person who volunteers through our festival has gone through autism awareness training. It's also part of conversations that I had with all of our vendors and stall holders. Just raising awareness that this is what the festival is targeting. For our family, it was great to go to a community event and feel like we belonged. For Lucy, she actually bumped into an old school friend, a friend that um, had been in the class with her. Lucy's non-verbal, so she doesn't have a lot of contact with kids, but to see a familiar face in the crowd and to feel that she was doing something that her um, same age peers were doing was really special for me to see. The other really great thing for us is that Lucy has a sister who's 18 months older than her and she misses out quite a bit. So to be able to go with the two of them to a festival and for them to enjoy essentially the same activities was really, really nice for us. Yeah. I think the value of the work is that, you know, part of local council is to make sure that everyone's got an opportunity to be involved in everything that we do. And I think the fact that we've done the sensory friendly festivals, it's giving people an opportunity to be part of festivals that have never had an opportunity before. And I think during the festival, you know, just to hear some of the feedback that we got from people that were involved, you know, they've never had an opportunity before, or they were able to take both of their children to the festival, or the fact that we had the quiet zones just allowed them to stay much longer than ever possible before. It's really about what local government's about, you know, people feeling connected to their community and being part of everything that we do. Other councils and other people wanting to take on a sensory friendly initiative um, good on you. <laughs> I think it's a great thing that more people should do and I think it's just about being aware of a lens and asking some questions. Could we do this differently and if we did what would that be? And they're having a look at the, you know, there's a, almost a package that exists now that we're very happy to share. I would say put the lens on and ask, ask some questions, do your research. <laughs>